A neat little tool for those who like to copy text from the Bible into their own documents is the copy function. Please note that the copy feature does not work in mobile and tablet devices. When you're viewing the Bible, you'll notice that immediately to the left of every verse reference is a little rectangle perched atop a second rectangle. This symbol means copy. It's actually a representation of a page atop a duplicate page. On the BLB, these little copy icons are checkable boxes that you can toggle on and off. Boxes that are checked are for verses that you intend to copy. You can check a selection of verses or you can double click to check all verses in a chapter. Once you've selected the verses you are interested in, click the copy button up in the context bar to put the verses into your computer's clipboard. Now you can paste your selected verses into a separate document in plain text form, like so. But maybe you don't necessarily like the format we've offered you. That's where copy options come in. Immediately to the right of the copy button you'll find copy options. Here you'll see a host of different ways to customize how your copied verses will paste. You can see that in our last example we had it set to paragraph order with reference first followed by the two verses I selected. Because I was in paragraph order we can look over here and see how I had the individual verse numbers set to display. I had chosen no delimiter. This means that although the verses numbers appear in the text I paste, they are not made distinct from the text. See? They're just kind of sitting there. However, if we fiddle a bit with the copy options and say select a square delimiter, we'll see the difference pretty easily. We see that verse numbers are now enclosed handsomely in square brackets. Another option we had set was a reference delimiter. This option refers to how we set off the main verse reference. We began with square brackets, but now for some reason we prefer braces. So we click curly, then we click copy, and then we paste our new and slightly revised text format. And there they are, so curly and sweet. Looking back at our paragraph order options, we can see that we were set to reference, then verse. See? Reference, then verses. We can reverse that if we like. Just click Verse Reference and there we go. And Reference Only will display only the verse reference without any of the accompanying text. Like this. Now if blocks of text aren't your thing, we've got several line by line options. These put a line break between verses and give each verse its own citation. Before or after the verse, your choice. Additionally, you may choose to display the reference on one line and the verse on the next. And then, as with the paragraph format, you can choose to only copy the verse references alone. Lastly, let's look at three final options that you can check on and off. The first lets the BLB know whether you wish to display verse references spelled out in their entirety or simply abbreviated. The next one does exactly what it sounds like it does. It puts quotation marks around verses. The final one, remove square brackets, is only useful in a couple translations. See, translations like the KJV use brackets or italics around words that are implied by the original text but are not actually present in the original text. That sounds kind of spooky, but think of it like this, using an example from Spanish. If I were to say, no tango una pluma, you would translate that, rather stiffly, as, I do not have a pen. Una pluma is a pen, which is easy enough. No tango, however, literally means no have, or stretching a bit, don't have. It's missing the pronoun yo, which means I. This is awkward in English, but in Spanish it's no problem at all. So if I was acting as a KJV translator, I would translate no tango una pluma as I in brackets, do not have a pen. The I is in brackets because though it's implied, it's not actually in the text I've translated. So throughout the KJV, you'll find all these words in italics. 
This is because a few years ago we stripped out all the brackets and replaced them with italics to make the KJV a more readable experience. However, we retain those brackets in the copy paste tool. If you'd rather just not see those, simply unclick this option. Copy and paste.